Hi! Welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I'm going to share with you my Arduino MQTT example project that uses the BMP PME 280 sensor to display its sensor readings. We are going to publish MQTT messages to our broker using our ESP32 ESP8266 microcontroller boards and display the sensor readings in a custom dashboard that will show it in both text and graphical chart format. As you can see in here, I have my ESP32 board with my BMP BME280 sensor attached to it. And I have here my custom MQTT dashboard built using Node.js and Express Web Framework that displays the sensor readings coming from my BME, BM, BMP BME280 sensor. Also, in the background, is my Mosquito MQTT broker acting as my middleman between my MQTT clients. My ESP32 BME280 component regularly publish MQTT messages to a certain topic called sensor readings. And then my custom dashboard is subscribed also to the same topic and displays the MQTT messages it receives using MQTT over web sockets. The top of my dashboards contains the insights into my sensor readings and it displays the temperature, humidity, pressure, and altitude coming from my BMP BME280 sensor. The historical charts below displays the last 12 readings while the gauge charts on the right hand side of my screen compares my current reading to a desired gauge if it exceeds a certain threshold like this temperature where I set the gauge to be 30 and since the value is 30.8 so you would see the value here is 0 0.8 which means that it exceeds our threshold which is 30 degrees Celsius. If I touch my BMP BME280 sensor with my index finger then I am expecting the temperature to go up. So let's check. The current temperature is 30.8. If I touch it with my index finger, then you would notice that my temperature did increase as shown by my insights and my historical chart below. Notice that the chart suddenly went up when I touch it the sensor with my index finger. If I remove my index finger, then I am expecting that it should go down. Right now, it's 32.7. That's right. Then you would notice that the temperature indeed went down. If you want to see the MQTT messages coming from my ESP32 board, then I have here my MQTTX application which is subscribed to the same topic and you would notice that these values are coming from my ESP32 BME280 sensors. Another feature of this dashboard is its ability to change the team. So right now it is the dark team. If we switch it, this if we toggle the button, then you would see that it now switches into a light theme, so you would see that the graphs are now being shown in light. And if we turn it back into dark, then you would see that it is now in the dark. It is also possible to view these values in a mobile browser, so let's try. So this is how it will look when viewed using your mobile browser. But you can see the values are now being displayed also, and we can toggle the theme so that it would show the dark or the light. And below it, you could see also the values of our historical chart, and the same also with our gauge charts in here. Would you like to know how I did this 
Then let's start exploring. This image is the overall design of the message flows between the different components in our system. There are, these are the major components of this project. I have here my Mosquito Acuity Broker, which acts as the middleman in the message exchange between our MQTT client. It is the one that facilitates the processing of incoming MQTT messages coming from our publisher and delivers it to the interested receivers, which is our subscribers. The ESP32, ESP8266, and the BMP BME280 sensor it's the source of our information or the publisher. The ESP32, ESP8266 publish the sensor readings as MQTT messages to our broker using the topic sensor readings. And inside it is a message that contains the readings from our BME280 sensor. This application was built using the Arduino framework using Visual Studio Code and Platform I.O. IDE extension. The dashboard application, on the other hand, is another MQTT client which acts as a subscriber to our project. This project subscribes to our MQTT broker on the same MQTT topic, sensor readings, and then it displays the MQTT messages as text and colorful, colorful graphs for better usability. This application was built using Node.js, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and the MQTT.js library. With the publish and the subscribe model of MQTT, then it is possible for us to separately code the part that publishes the sensor readings on a particular topic and create our own dashboard that subscribes to the same topic and displays its reading. All the clients connected to our MQTT broker do not need to know each other, making this setup very much ideal in the Internet of Things projects. The, this image shows the wiring and schematic of our ESP8266 Arduino-based MQTT example project. I am using the I2C module of the BMP BME280 sensor, so I am needing only 4 pins. Now, so much for the design. Let's go now to our code. So, this is the code for our dashboard application, and it is created using Node.js and, and the Express Web Framework. It is built using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and the MQTT.js library. I have a separate video on how this project works, which you can find in the description of this video. The code is available in my GitHub repository, and the steps on how to run it is shown there also. For the Arduino program that publishes the MQTT readings, then it is available also in my GitHub repository, which you can find it here. I have used platform IO IDE in developing this project, but it is also applicable when using the Arduino IDE. Let's try to walk through what each line of code does. So in this line, we import the necessary header files needed by the project, like the pub sub client, the Arduino JSON, and the Adaproot BME280 library. The code line would work for both ESP32 and ESP8266 microcontroller board, so I have added some header guards in here. The next line here defines the pin configurations for our BMP BME280 sensor. As I mentioned above, I am using the I2C model of the said sensor, but using the SPI interface model, 
it's easy also and you just need to uncomment and comment these lines below next you should replace these two variables to match your wi-fi network configurations and then the part here is where you change the name of your MQTT broker and MQTT port. Since I am running a local Mosquito MQTT broker, so I have set the IP address of my laptop here, and I have just accepted the default port, which is 1883. The published topic here that you're seeing refers to the MQTT topic sensor readings where we will publish the messages on the said topic. The subscribe topic variable in here is just for display for now as we do not need to subscribe to any MQTT topic. Our ESP32 and ESP8266 microcontroller board will just read the BMP BME280 sensor and publish a message to our Mosquito MQTT broker. Below it, it's an instance of our PubSub client, which we will act as our interface to our MQTT broker. We have set the read cycle times to 3000 milliseconds or 3 seconds, which means that we will read the BMP BME280 sensor values every 3 seconds and publish it to our MQTT broker. The setup Wi-Fi function is used to connect to our Wi-Fi network so that we get assigned an IP address. The random seed line here that you're seeing is needed for the generation of a unique client ID for our MQTT client. The callback function in here is used to respond to MQTT messages coming from our broker. Currently, this function does not do anything as we are not subscribing to any topic. The reconnect function that you are seeing here is needed to connect to our MQTT broker. You can add your logic here if you needed to subscribe to any topic that you want by calling the API client that subscribe and supplying the subscribe topic. Every message that comes in from our MQTT broker is then going to call this callback function which is our callback. In order to connect to our BMP BME280 sensor, then we need to call the setup BME280 function. So basically, this, this just starts the connection to our I2C BME280 sensor. The setup function is the standard Arduino function needed for any configuration task before our program runs. It does the following in our case. It sets up the baud rate of our serial monitor, connects to our Wi-Fi, initializes our BMP BME280 sensor, and configure our MQTT connection and the callback function. In the loop function, we check if our MQTT client is not connected and we try to reconnect and we continually listen for messages coming from our MQTT broker. After that, we read the BMP BME280 sensor values and publish an MQTT message to our broker in JSON or JavaScript object not notation. I have used the library Arduino JSON in sending our MQTT message. If you would take a look at my MQTT app, X application, then you would see that this is the sample JSON that I am receiving from my ESP32. I have set the read cycle so that it would read every three seconds. And that's all actually for the code. The companion write-up of this video contains much detailed explanation of the project. The write-up and code and be found in the description of this video. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!